To be a linebacker in the Bobcat defense, you have to be physical, assignment sound, discipline. But most of all, you've got to be fearless. Your linebackers have to be able to play in space. Uh, and that, that's a, I mean, it was obvious against Texas Tech. It will be when we play Louisiana Tech. They're going to spread you. They're going to use all 51, 52 yards of field and make you cover space. And so linebackers that were big pluggers and big bodies that could run over people, albeit they're needed against certain offenses, are not really the norm anymore. You need guys that can play in space. Uh, you know, I think the term basketball and grass has kind of started to become more of the popular offensive style. One of the big characters, characteristics that I look for in linebackers is whether or not they're tackling with their eyes in the ball carrier or if they're tackling with their ear in the ball carrier. And, and I think there's something to be said about a guy who looks at his target, sees through it, runs through it, and a guy who turns his head right at the last second. You know, and it's a small thing, but it's a big thing when it comes to being able to play physical because, you know, just turning your head slightly and all of a sudden you miss a, a running back at this level that you were tackling at the high school level. Coach Brad, he's he's a uh, he's definitely a character. I I love how his personality though. He's he's real cool, down to earth, but he knows the game of football like the back of his hand, and uh, he's learned from his father. And so I mean, they both have a great football IQ. And uh, Coach Brad, me and him butt heads at times, but I mean that, that's gonna happen. But uh, he he knows what's best for us, and he always puts us in the right situation. Oh, Coach Brad, he's cool. I mean. I can always talk to him. He's always there to talk to. He's cool. He have us over for dinner all the time. I mean, as far as a coach, that's who I like the most. Joplo, you know, get in there. You know, get in there and just get in there. Just, just like that. He, he, he always have nothing to say. He would, he would. I would be like, I'm listening, and then he would just shake and hit his fist. Well, I think David Mayo's been a real pleasant surprise. He's had a tremendous season. He improves every week, and, and he is uh, very intense about running to the ball, and he makes good things happen for us defensively. Brian Lilly's kind of the, the mainstay, the guy who's very uh, wise to the defense, been in it for two years now, this being his second season, and uh, he kind of makes sure that everybody, the structure around him stays uh, solid, and he's having a good season. Damian McMiller's been it was really a pleasant surprise early in the season. He's been working through some things physically the last few weeks, but I'm, I'm real excited about where he can go. And, and then Jared Jeter, early in the season, I was concerned that maybe we were dealing with a freshman, but he showed that, that uh, mentally he can handle it and, and physically he's starting to show up in the games now, and that's, that's exciting. The new linebackers have done a tremendous job, and they're right where I would like them to be mentally. All right. Uh, as a group, I think we obviously want to be 6-0. and So 3-3, three and three, it's hard for you to say we're where we want to be. People are still running the ball with effectiveness against us, and that's a disappointment. Um, so and we have to take pride in that as linebackers. So I think we're a long ways away from where we want to be. Um, and that's a great opportunity about football is you get a chance to come out and practice every day. And